I made a video recently called Moon Rocks Are Trash, and I basically went into how most of the moon rocks that you would buy from dispensaries are usually made with lower quality products on average. They take lower quality bud, they hide it, they cover it in distillate oil, and they put keef on the outside. They end up looking pretty good, but for the most part, there's some bad components in there. Your best chance of getting high quality moon rocks are making them yourself. Well, I want to talk to you about the higher quality moon rocks, sun rocks. I'd say these all fit in the cannabis caviar category. Anything where you take flour and then you increase its potency with something else. I've had dry caviar where it's just flour and keef. I've had moon rocks with high levels of oil, low levels. There's a lot of different stuff out there, but sun rocks, sun rocks are the top shelf moon rock. Moon rocks are the mids of the cannabis caviar world. Sun rocks are the good stuff. So I did a little bit of research just to see what other people are saying about sun rocks, but I've learned that with all these different states having their own rules and regulations and laws and what they sell, some people have a different definition of what things are. So I'm going to tell you my definition of sun rocks and then maybe what other people would call it. I recently saw a clip with Snoop Dogg on a podcast or something talking about how moon rocks are too potent for them and that they're 60 they're usually 60 percent thc and that the next level of that is sun rocks which are 80 percent thc the moon, moon rock, rock is too up. much dog <laughs> that's what everybody keeps saying i just want to try it charlamagne yeah, sure. and i don't even smoke I charlamagne just look at me yeah moon rock is too much for it's you. too much yeah. you, you don't want to if you don't smoke all the time you don't want to start there yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> too much for me dog <laughs> really for me wow. and then the, the ultimate is sun rock these fools with the moon rock went to 60 percent oh, THC. So that's like Everclear. Everclear Sunrock went to 80 percent. God oh my damn. So you damn near crackish. And then that definition has translated onto a few websites. I saw some of them listing that. But most of the moon rocks I'd get in Colorado, 75 to 85 percent THC. I would always look at the THC percent on it and be like, if it's 85 percent THC, I should just be able to put it in my bang or put it on my e-nail and it'll dab, right? But we all know about THC percents, right? While I don't think it comes down to the numbers, Sun Rocks are the top shelf. You want to make them with all high quality products. I've talked about how Moon Rocks, they try to hide bad bud or bad oil under really good keef and stuff like that. Sun Rocks, you're not doing that. You're not trying to hide anything bad. You want to use the best of the best. The only way to guarantee you're going to get Sun Rocks is probably making them yourself but you want to use the top shelf, highest quality bud you can. With Moon Rocks, you're like, yeah, I'm going to cover it in oil and keef. We can use some mids. It'll be fine. With Sun Rocks, you're using that good shit. There's three ingredients for Moon Rocks, the flour, the concentrate, and then the hash or the powder on the outside. But for Sun Rocks, you want to try to use all of the same strain. This is one of the common definitions that I found, and this is kind of how I see them. If you're using the same strain of everything, you'd call it Sun Rocks. But it has to be high shelf. You could use mids of everything, and then they're Moon Rocks because it's mids. But with Sun Rocks, you want to use the best bud that you can find, the best oil. Moon Rocks usually have distillate, but with Sun Rocks, you want to use like live resin or live rosin. You want to use the best oil you can find, not distillate. You don't want to use distillate. You don't want to use some fucking melted shatter. You want to use something really terpy. Cover it in sauce, melt a little bit of live rosin, cover it in that. You want to use something really good. And then the last step with Moon Rocks, you use keef. But keef is like the lowest form of hash, essentially. So some people use like five and six star hash, the stuff that's basically just trichome heads to cover the outside. But some people use THCA crystals. You can get those through different types of extraction methods. I would say for Sun Rocks, you'd probably want to use solventless THCA crystals. If you've ever had THCA crystals or powder before, it's just like really small diamonds or a finer powder that's really, really high in THC. You find that 99% shit, right? Like a THC isolate even. It's just like the highest amount of THC. You're not covering it in fucking grinder keef. That's like farmer hash. You're covering it in either like six star hash or THCA crystals. So you have the top shelf version of everything going into it. Sun rocks are the cream of the crop. So I've made them before. I used the best bud I could find. I used live resin of the same strain. And then I ended up using THCA crystals. And I think the crystals I used didn't have a strain name on it, which it's just THC. There's really no strain when you just have THC. So sun rocks are better than moon rocks. They are the top shelf version. It's like that meme, you versus the guy you're worried about or whatever. You're the fucking moon rocks. The guy you're worried about is sun rocks. It's just the better version. It's the fucking giga chat of moon rocks. So while sun rocks are better than moon rocks, I would still say they're trash, bro. Handling any kind of cannabis caviar is just a pain in the ass. You're not going to smoke that shit every day. It's literally nugs covered in oil, covered in keef. So it's messy when you want to break it up with your hands. I typically would use the scissors on my lighter, bro, just to cut off little chunks. But literally most people that recommend ways to smoke moon rocks or ways to smoke 
sun rocks or moon rocks, as they say, just mix it in with a little bit of flour to help it burn better. You know how dumb that sounds when you're like, yeah, take the flour and then just add a bunch of oil and add a bunch of fucking THCA crystals to it to get the most fire shit that you can get. And then when you get to smoke it, they're like, all right, uh, let's put more flour in there and actually lower the THC so we can actually smoke it and have an enjoyable sesh. It's it's weird. Smoking oil, smoking concentrates is like the worst way to do it. Just dab that shit. Just take your top shelf bud and smoke that after you've dabbed your top shelf fucking rosin and your THCA crystals, whatever you got to do. You would rather do them separate. I fucking swear. It's so much better to do them separate. It's literally like moon rocks and shit. That's for Instagram, bro. That's just to have cool pictures to show off to people so they can be like, oh my God, dude, what is that? But at the end of the day, they're fucking trash, dude. You don't want to smoke moon rocks every day. It's annoying. It's a mess. And it's just like flat out stupid. I've had some good experiences with moon rocks, but I'm like, "Eh, I really just prefer smoking and then dabbing separately. Why do we got to try to combine it together? Like it's this fucking crazy thing. I started seeing and these fucking alcoholic popsicles recently all these fucking seltzer brands oh get a fucking get a truly lemonade popsicle with alcohol in it i was like oh fuck that's sick dude and then i ate a few of them i'm like i gotta eat a hundred of these to even get a buzz i'd rather just drink and then have a popsicle later i don't know sometimes mixing things isn't the way to do it but i did want to let you know about sun rocks how they are the top shelf version of moon rocks you would typically use the same strain for all three ingredients and instead of keef you want to use like six star hash or th CA crystals instead of Disley, you want to use like live rosin, live resin. Instead of some shitty mids, you want that top shelf bud. If you want to do any type of hit, just make a moon rock bowl. Just put a little bit of flour in your bowl, put a little bit of oil on it, and then a little bit of keef. Really manage those ratios so you don't have to keep adding more flour to your moon rocks to make it burn better, which is diluting your moon rocks essentially. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I go live up to 9 p.m. Eastern. We do smoke sessions and we get really really lit so make sure you join me over there and if you want to see my video on why i think moon rocks are trash check this video out and i hope you have a nice day my dudes seriously stay lit